A polygraph exam taken in 2011 by adult film star Stormy Daniels supports her claim that she had an affair with President Trump. The White House, however, has denied the affair. CBS News Justice reporter Paula Reed has looked over the results of the polygraph. She joins us now from our Washington Bureau. Paula, what appears to be the main conclusions from this test? Well, Rena, this test was taken back in 2011 before a publication would actually print her story. They wanted to make sure she was telling the truth. And according to the results of this, the person who administered this test believed that the prob probability that she was lying was less than 1%. There were th three key questions that they asked her. The first, and I'm quoting here, um, around July 2006, did you have vaginal intercourse with Donald Trump? She said yes. Around that same time, did you have unprotected sex with Donald Trump? She said yes. Last question, did Trump say you would get on The Apprentice? Yes. Now, to all three of these questions, this test indicates that she was indeed telling the truth about her affair with the president and what he promised her. But at the heart of this whole Stormy Daniels controversy is really not did you or didn't you have an affair. Most people, most evidence indicates that indeed they did. The questions are whether or not that non-disclosure agreement that she signed, whether or not that is valid. If it is valid, then she could be barred from sharing her story publicly. The other question is where did the money that she received come from? Now, the president's attorney, Mr. Cohen, he has denied that he was reimbursed by the Trump organization or the Trump campaign. But there still are a lot of questions about what exactly went down when this non-disclosure agreement was was concluded. So Paula, how credible do you think this polygraph is and how do you think it'll affect this lawsuit that Stormy Daniels is currently facing with the president? Well, by and large, polygraphs are not given a lot of weight in a court of law. For example, if she was trying to prove in a court of law that she indeed had this affair, I, I would be given some weight, but polygraphs are not con considered to be definitive. This is sort of a filing, though, in the court of public opinion. For anyone who has any doubt about this extramarital affair, here she says her lawyers say this is some proof that this actually happened, that I am indeed credible. And now the big legal question to be resolved is whether or not that non-disclosure will hold and whether or not they're going to fight about that non-disclosure in a private closed arbitration setting or if they're going to argue about it in open federal court. That's the big outstanding question now. Putting this in federal court would be interesting because the discovery, the evidence gathering phase, that would all be public, uh, probably not something the president or the White House would be very pleased about. Paula Reed, thank you for your insights, Paula.